Hi guys, John here from Optics Warehouse. So today we're going to be looking at the long shot target camera. So this is the Mark IV model. This allows you up to around about 300 yards, if I remember correctly. Um, obviously we're not going to be using that today. We're going to be using it around about 35, 40 yards. Um, to be fair so far, as you can see from the other camera point at my phone screen, which we've got on record as well, so I have both of these up for you. The image quality on that is brilliant. It's really crisp, clear. I've got it set about three yards back from the target. So you can see it's not a bad field of view there. The only thing I will say is a little bit laggy, as you can see of that, but you don't need real time with this. It's mainly to help you zero at long range when you can't quite see the shot. Um, and also it's got different shot markers on there. You can save different profiles, save your caliber, uh, what sort of conditions it is, the wind. There's so many different options with this. Uh, not only is it gonna be good for setting your gun up uh, for zeroing, it's also a really great piece of equipment for training. So if you've set it up at a few distances that you know you struggle with, or um, say for example discipline shots where you're kneeling or standing, you can take your shots, see where the shot actually lands, do a series of these recorded, pictures for each one and where the shots land, try a different couple of techniques, and you can actually then review it after that, sit down, work it all out and see what's actually going on. So maybe that half a mil forwards on the grip or twist the grip slightly, adding a bit of weight to the front, shortening the length of pull. You may feel like it's helping you, but until you can actually check it time and time again and compare your data from before and after, you don't really know. Sometimes it may feel better, but it may be doing the complete opposite. So something like this target camera really does help with that. You can save all the details and say, review it at a later date, comfort your own home. So you can just do it however, however long it takes doesn't really matter that way so we're just going to pop a few shots up there obviously this will show what the camera is showing and how long the um, lapse of delay is so we'll just move this onto here i'm going to go for the flip knock down in the center first just to flick that down and you'll see the reaction time then so there you go that shows the reaction time on the video and hopefully it will pick up the muzzle report on the speaker from the phone as well and show you the delay there, which isn't a lot, but it, it just shows you a real real time footage of what it's like. Obviously, we'll just do the reset now. And up it comes. So obviously, as you're saying with this, we're gonna just do a couple of shots on the body just to show what, what I mean, but you can check the group. So if I push put one there, I'll then send this next one to it. Now I'm going to concentrate my breathing a little bit just to see what we can do. Oh, I say that and I go and pull a flyer. So once again, I know exactly what happened there. As I was squeezing it off, I pulled the butt across here with my fingertips and just moved it. But obviously at a later date I can review that and I know exactly what's happened. Let's try again. There we go. So what I'm going to do now, so instead of taking time on a shot, I'm going to aim at the same place, and I'm going to yank the trigger, so bad trigger technique. It's actually got exactly where it should have, but quite a bit surprised by that. And now if you really grip the gun, pull it into your shoulder so you're getting that unnatural wobble. So like a competition standard, you may have got a little bit of a shake or a wobble, under the nerves, and it's just opened that back up to the left. So obviously at that range, that's now quite a large group, and that's opened up further and further from mistakes there. But it gives you a pattern, so if I did that just below it, so we'll set another group up. Just about that. And once again, we'll do a shot that I'm concentrating on. Smack on the top of it. Obviously, that's just taking a little bit more paint off. Well, we could do that many times. But now, as I say, if I now pull this back in, so I'm pulling it tight, which you'll see quite a few sort of newbies doing because they've stressed under it, pulling it tight into their shoulder. 
and it's pulled right off to the right. So obviously I know what's happening there each time. All of that is going to help in later dates, obviously re reviewing your footage, maybe even learning the wind. So if you can judge what wind's going on, set a couple of markers out. Each time you go out, take some footage of it. You know what's happening then in certain wind conditions. It helps you learn what your pellet's going to do in, say, a five mile per hour wind or a 10 mile per hour wind recorded. Uh, obviously, it does change as where you shoot in different locations, but it all helps with learning. Um, as I say, this is just a quick review of the long shot target camera, what it's capable of, and a few of the uses and how it can help you. Obviously, it's not restricted to the air rifle use, use it for whatever you like. A bit of crossbow, pistol, rimfire, center fire. And as I say, you've got two models of this, which you can, oh, both of them you can set four cameras up with as well. So you can buy multiple cameras for set up at different ranges, and you can connect them all through the same app so you can flick between them. The other version of this is the two mile one. That really is an awesome bit of kit uninterrupted feed two miles away brilliant you'll never ever see that doesn't matter what scope you're using you'll never see that through the scope especially bullet impacts that range to be able to have that it's not the cheapest bit of equipment it's nigh on a thousand pound i believe for the two mile one however to have that there otherwise you're gonna to have to have somebody down range on the phone telling you where you've hit and possibly put in a huge great marker on the target so you can possibly see it and that's if you're lucky with this recorded straight back to the phone, or if you've got a tablet, it's a bigger screen again. It, to me, it's really money well spent, especially with them calibers at that, that sort of distance. But as I say, for training, this smaller uh, model here, which is obviously a lot better on the budget, it's it does really, really pay for itself in time. So that is a quick roundup of the long shot camera. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Anything else you'd like to see, please drop us an email or drop us a comment or give us a call. Thanks for watching.